or money to pay the upkeep cost. That's not good. That's not true. <laughs> there is a lot of cash here. So I guess uh, that is fine. I think it's okay now. All right. Uh, another quest. Produce 25 units of opium on the farms and sell 25 units of opium through the aerodrome. Hey, where do I see how many there are? Those logistics, statistics, upkeep. Oh, it needs to work. There we go. There was enough money now, but it stopped working because there was momentarily not enough money to pay the upkeep. <clears throat> I mean, we have a lot of cash, but I assume that the tutorial will, or, or the story mode will kind of lead us to spending that. I don't wish to get a lot of farms, or maybe, maybe one more farm, you know, not a warehouse. I actually need a farm. Efficiency 100. Would have 100 efficiency here. Maybe another here. Let's do this. I don't know. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go like this. A little bit further. Okay. And connect up all of these. And let's see if the warehouse services them all. One, two, three, four. Possibly? No. Ooh. <laughs> okay. This one, let's let's cancel this one. This one is too far away. <clears throat> so let's have five for now. There is some sort of autosave, but... You only have the option to save and exit. It seems to be that way. Okay. Just 25 units. We have 30 out of 25 and we have sold 12 out of 25. So he's just doing his rounds like, or we are like Cesar. So maybe later on we can have more lieutenants or something, or he is a lieutenant and we are the boss. I think that's how it works because it's, it's, calling those lieutenants general orders so that must be our lieutenant and we are the the dark shadowy boss of the cartel okay what is this okay the the general manual or tips controls control tips enable music well i'm not enabling music right now as i explained building okay roads Efficiency, we know. Lieutenants, right. So those are lieutenants. Lieutenants are characters that you directly control. Each lieutenant, including your, including the capo, can be given orders, some of which are unique. You should pay upkeep to all the lieutenants except the capo. Capo marked with a golden ring. Okay, so he's like the, the chief lieutenant or... Hmm, we'll see. Resources. Okay, resources and overflow. All your resources are displayed in a panel at the top of the screen. It's this. Mm, not yet. Well, yeah, I see opium right there, but it's behind my overlay bar. It's 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 fine. It's good. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Good smuggling points. So uh, smuggling points differ in throughput and in what kind of goods they accept. You will need to be creative to sell your illegal goods. Several types of buildings allow you to sell goods. Checkpoint, seaport, and aerodrome. Good stuff. Minimal throughput. Medium throughput, high throughput is through checkpoint. So that's like a border checkpoint, right? And money. 
Money allows you to maintain and develop your empire. Bankruptcy will mean the end of your capo and the game. There are two types of money, dirty and legal, of course. You can choose which type of money to use for construction and for buildings and lieutenant's upkeep. If you pay your buildings, if you pay for building upkeep with dirty money, you must deliver it to the building via residences or lieutenants. If you pay for a lieutenant's upkeep with dirty money, you must move them to a building where money is available. Oh, turning dirty money into legal money is called money laundering. Yay! <laughs> like a real life stuff. <clears throat> you can launder money in banks and other special city buildings. Both residences and lieutenants can transport the dirty money from smuggling points. Intriguing. Game looks relaxing. Yeah, it. It most probably will be until the police comes in and or we will need to fight another cartel. Not too bad. Not too bad. With the music, it might be even more relaxing. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, right? I really hope that a few more people might come in and see the game because today we are here for half a stream. And, of course, we mainly stream uh, Deep Rock Galactic, so uh, our main streaming clientele looks at that. And the other games are just like a side dish once in a while, with a drop in viewership. Even details. You can only sell illegal goods through aerodromes, and you'll receive dirty money in return. But we already know that, don't we? Think so? We already sold that stuff. We have quite a bit of money here. Is he taking money? I think it... It is automatic, right? So this is... How many hours it takes for the export to... Yeah. The export is ongoing. It actually takes days. Or day and 11 hours. 9 hours left. And then we get paid. Or maybe we will still need to wait for the money to come back. Which is quite realistic, right? You you don't just deliver stuff to an airport and you are immediately paid if you are smuggling stuff somewhere else. So, sell 25 units. We sold 22 out of 25. And there we go. Hey, we did it. We just had to wait. We just had to wait. I could have made the game go faster, but we actually read some manual and whatnot. Good. Cesar lugs the last crate into the back of the small prop plane. The pilot approaches him, offering a large black telephone. The game? What? <laughs> Cesar Garcetti. Stranger's voice is unmistakable. I could almost kiss you. Hmm. You have built us a strong foundation. Trust a man of faith to turn a profit so quickly. Cesar pauses. So, you know me well for a caller I've never met, senor. <laughs> How do you know I am a religious man? Is it strange for a man to research his new business partner? My mother is a God-fearing woman. Fearing? fearing God-fearing woman? It's fear, right? I practice for her sake. But the, truth, but the truth is that business is of far greater interest to me than piety. Business I would like to return to, partner. A son loyal to his mother is a precious thing. And as I am sure she would agree, clean hands offend no one. See? Dirty money is like coal, a powerful fuel, but one that blackens the hands and leaves a mess everywhere. We will need to scrub our hands clean. <laughs> our hands. I have provided you with new funds. Uh, we'll think of it as an investment, see? Uh, buy us a taxi company in Amado. I will be in touch again soon. Taxi company. Oh, we have legal money. Look at that. Some nice and legal money. Build a taxi company in the city of Amado using Cesar. Transport dirty money from Aerodrome to the taxi company. Turn on the taxi company and launder $1,800 of dirty money into legal money at the taxi company. But that's how it works, right? That's that's real life. So when I'm using taxi services, I'm generally cleaning off dirty money of the mob. <laughs> Gonna have a sip of my vitamin drink. 
So Raven, but I'm not a real fan of those types of games. I only like to build the houses in The Sims. That's fair. Sims is a great game, but very expensive if you really wish to go spending money on it, right? Okay, I finished my vitamin drink. So later on, I only have my mineral water, but that that's for later. So yeah, The Sims is a great game. And these tycoons, I understand, they, they need a lot of time investment overall and focus. And it's not for everyone. But it can be relaxing if you just wish to play something where you are not really pressured for time, for instance. Okay, even details. You can purchase buildings with unique benefits in cities. The number of buildings that can be built varies from city to city. Buildings. Okay, a taxi company. Okay, with legal money built. So launders dirty money uh, that lieutenants or the residences deliver from smuggling points. Upkeep cost 300, storage capacity 30, 30k. New resource legal money. <laughs> Launder cash. Okay, so two days. Okay, so we need to wait. Good. So in the meantime, we can still be transporting goods. Is this city buildings? That's it. In your cities, you can erect buildings with various non-production functions. Both dirty and legal money can be used to construct city buildings. Delicious. Oh, Don Angel. <laughs> yes, yes, my son. What do you need? Come here, Don. Hey there, Chris. Welcome back. Longer time no see. How have you been? Or maybe you have been lurking. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome back. I shall be uh, I shall be called Angel Escobar. Uh, let's hope not. He, yeah, those people do a lot of bad things, so you know how it works. We're just having some fun with the game. Okay, we have a taxi company in the city, and we should use Cesar or Cesar Cez, Cesar Cesar, I guess to transport dirty money from aerodrome to the taxi company. Escucha. Okay, we should... The delivery. Okay, and we can... Dirty money. So just transport. It's not like laundering increases. This is money laundering volume by 10%. Special orders robbery. Raid the bank and get dirty money and truck supplier at two cars to the building to improve logistics. Interesting. Okay, deliver this money to the taxi company. But I guess it's still getting billed. You know what? We need to wait. Cost? Upkeep cost? No, we need to deliver the money and then we need to turn it on. Good. Deliver dirty money right here. You go, boy. Those roads, though. So, Chris, later shifts, so no, not, not much time to lurk and watch. Just wonder what you are playing. Yeah, today, just a little change. Just a little change. Just, we have a three-hour half stream because I need to take Albus to the vet in the afternoon. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Laundering. Took it all. He actually took all of the cash. All right. So we are waiting for the money to be laundered. During that time, I can read chat, right? And Raven, yeah, but I don't play the story, so the extensions to the game don't interest me much. Uh, give me ground to build a house and I will be happy. Uh, you mean uh, with The Sims or this type of story? Is there a story with The Sims? <laughs> I was playing in the past, don't own the game, so now I'm building in seven days to die. We're playing it in the past, this one? You were playing uh, Cartel Tycoon in the past? <laughs> seven days to die i haven't played that what is included in seven days to die is it a builder survival type of game or 
Hey, we already sorted that out. This is an old message, right? Statistics info. Uptime, week, month, money laundered, logistics interval. Okay, info. Launders dirty money that litanies, but upkeep cost. Now we already saw that. Hey. Well, it's working, so we just need to launder the money. That's all. Just launder the money. <laughs> So far, so good. I mean, it's good that the game has this story mode that you are slowly getting through the tutorial. I was kind of afraid of how the game would approach the tutorial because that's where I mostly ended up with the tycoon type game. Clean hands. If the game really will not show you slow and steady, step by step, how to play it and then throws you into an overcomplicated mesh of stuff, I tend to lose interest. So far, we are getting led to uh, to the story and to the basics of the building and laundering and whatnot. So I kind of enjoy it. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. So about the Sims, Raven. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so Chris, seven days to die is a zombie survival. Seven to eight years in. Oh, it's that one. It's that one. Eight years in early access and never finished. Will be finished soon in 2030. <laughs> yeah, I think I I read about the game or heard about the game, and I think we have already been talking about Seven Days to Die before, but I, I kind of forgot because didn't look into it at all. And that was the game, right? That never. Well, it's similar to Star Citizen. <clears throat> when will Star Citizen be fully released? I don't know, after they spend uh, several hundred millions on another trailer or movie? <laughs> and Raven, but still, I like the game. Well, if it works, it works. Okay, let's, uh, let's follow this. In the garage of the rundown Amado taxi company, Cesar watches as the remaining stacks of cash are hauled out of the back of an old car. He has a phone pressed to his ear. Ah, the smell of freshly laundered cash. It's beautiful, is it not? The garage reeks of paint, gasoline, and perspiration. Cesar bites his tongue, stretches out his back, and lets out a strained breath. Truly, Cesar, I am impressed. You are working hard. Gracias. Too hard. If you continue like this, you will break your back before you enjoy the fruits of your labor. It's hard work, but someone must do it, senor. If you are truly concerned, by all means, come and lend a hand yourself. Did I not entrust you with my residence and the lieutenants there? The drivers who will only be the drivers who will only be too happy to share the workload. Just tell them what to do and they will do it until you tell them to stop. Synergy, my friend. Oh, corporate words. Make the system work for you. Hey, okay, clean hands completed. Synergy. Select the aerodrome as a destination for the residents. Select the taxi company as a destination for the residents. Launder 3,600 of dirty money into legal money at the taxi company. So in general, we just connect up the aerodrome with the residents and taxi company with the residents. And it will probably launder it by itself. And Raven, and let's hope it will be finished by 2030. <laughs> Good morning, Keo. Welcome. So is the Windows repair complete? I hope so. Good. Building and paying upkeep with the dirty money is more involved, but if managed well, it saves a lot of time and leaves you your legal money available for when it is needed most. Consider your options and remain flexible. Okay, so we should add the aerodrome as the destination. There we go. And then we should add the taxi company as the destination and launder $3,600 of dirty money into legal money at the taxi company. Okay. Gonna be interesting. So there is no money, and I guess we need to move him back to the warehouse. 
because we need to take the opium out of the warehouse and yet again start the deliveries so that we are getting some dirty money from the warehouse to pay for everything that we need. We still have money in the storage. No. No, no, no. Well, we can help probably with transferring this. Where do I see how much is in the... Oh, here. How much is in the actual warehouse? It's 106. There is a truck transporting 12 units of opium to the aerodrome already. Okay. Fair enough. Yo, not yet, but nearly. So, what is wrong, actually, if I may ask? That's too... If that's not too much of a burden. Okay, let's take this. And deliver that to the aerodrome as well. Because it's more and it's actually quicker than the usual trucks. And we are slowly laundering or, or well, cleaning our dirty money into legal money through our taxi company. We are able to build another building, but I guess the, the story or the tutorial will actually lead us to it. Bum, bum, ba -da 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 -dum. Okay, let's speed it up a little. Two power. Black market. Oh, there are prices. Ooh, it should be... Yeah, we should maybe start with something else, but I cannot be ahead of ourselves anyway. Ahead of the story mode, I guess. 1,800 has been laundered. So we have cash. We have most of the dirty money in the residence. That works. Okay, I will stop the delivery. See if there is any cash in here. There is. Hey, okay, we've completed Synergy. Splendid. Synergy quest complete. There we go. <laughs> I was like, is it over? Can we just play the game? No. So, Cesar leans on the balcony of the residence, smoking and watching trucks ferrying illicit goods back and forth. The phone at his ear once again. Feels good to be in charge, no? Many hands may like make light work. Uh, yet I still believe, or yet I still believe we would benefit from a few more. Czar sighs, the cigarette hanging limply from his lips. More drivers? No, no, my friend. They are cogs in the machine. Lieutenants will carry out these more complex tasks. I have been reaching out. Soon you'll be able to make your pick of Novatos at the residence. We'll make a leader out of you yet. Cesar laughs and drops the cigarette from his mouth onto the hardwood floor of the office, crushing it beneath his foot. If being a leader like you requires me to become only a voice at the end of a telephone wire, I'm not interested. Tell me how I am different from, from one of those cogs. I don't even know your name, partner. The stranger falls quiet, the smoothness in their voice owning to an edge. I understand your frustration. Perhaps it is time I introduced myself formally. Carry out this task and I will see you soon, Cesar Garcetti. Okay, then. Okay, synergy complete. Recruits. Hire a lieutenant at the residence. Maintain at least two lieutenants in the cartel. Increase your lieutenant's allegiance by increasing their upkeep. So that's how this works. Lieutenant the residence maintenance. Hiring lieutenants. 
At Residence, you can recruit new lieutenants for your cartel. In the hiring window, you can see the lieutenant's cost and abilities and recruit. Among the lieutenants, there are partners who have a unique deal ability. This unlocks the ability to sell a set quantity of specific goods at an increased cost over a limited time. This ability has a cooldown period. Okay, opium deals. Units of opium. Lieutenant promotion. All lieutenants gain experience. When a lieutenant gains enough experience, you can raise their rank. Each time you promote a lieutenant, their abilities increase, making new special orders available. Interesting. When a lieutenant is promoted, their wages go up. And allegiance. Allegiance reflects uh, a lieutenant's attitude towards the capo. All lieutenants have allegiance except the capo. A lieutenant will gradually lose uh, allegiance if they don't receive upkeep or promotion on gaining maximum experience at their current rank. If allegiance falls to volatile, then you lose control of the lieutenant and they become unpredictable. Whoops. <laughs> you can increase allegiance by raising a lieutenant's upkeep in their page, in the cartel menu, <clears throat> or on their profile. To prevent allegiance from, from falling, reward lieutenants regularly by increasing their rank and or upkeep. Recruit lieutenants. That's this stuff. Good. So, Vanessa Diaz, Vanji, or La Viuda. Tony Quintero, or Monstro. <laughs> Ahiga Wilson, Guerrero. And uh, Griselda Eduarda Alcazar, or Reina. Ooh. Upkeep is free. This is interesting. Oh, too many perks. Assassination, kidnapping. All the perks. Okay, you actually have a little uh, biography here, hard killer. Okay, novato, novato. Okay, I don't know the ranks. I don't speak Spanish, so. Abilities. What is this? Move? <clears throat> and make a deal. Of course, move ability, perks, deliver, and opium cultivator. This one can move, can deliver, and can burn buildings. Power is a perk. Interesting. What are the others? Assassination, kidnapping, silent assassination, power, dealer, power two, power, power, power. Interesting. And we have move and deliver with this one only. Well, probably I will take this one because he, he can burn buildings. Upkeep is free. Tony Quintero. So one lieutenant for now, right? That was enough. Monitor your, your lieutenants closely. If a lieutenant's allegiance falls too much, they will become disaffected and you will lose control of them. Yeah, we already read that. Good. So he's doing nothing right now? Pre profile. Oh, that's the profile. And here you can raise their upkeep by a medium amount, a large amount. Ooh, let's. Dedicated, dedicated, loyal. Let's make them loyal. Why not, right? Oh, so here is the hierarchy pyramid. Ooh. Good stuff. Okay, we completed another quest and recruits. Even details. New quest received? I don't see it yet. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, those cutscenes, I would expect at least something to be told in those cutscenes, but maybe later. So the residence is alive with noise, car engines roaring to life and lieutenants barking orders to the drivers. The stranger enters through the main door and takes a long look around. Miguel Angel Gasha. 
El Viruñas. What is that? What does that mean? <laughs> I love what you've done with the place. And the room falls silent. Only Cesar recognizes the voice. Rich, smooth and warm, like fresh brewed coffee. He rises to meet the stranger.